This video describes in detail each command that appears in the standard toolbar. Many of these commands may look familiar to you. First, you can move the toolbar into your working area. Grab it from the left side and drag and drop it to your desired location. You can also resize the window by pulling down on the bottom of it. You can move the toolbar back to its original location at any time. When you select the new command, you will be prompted to save your current design before a blank workspace appears. The open command allows you to browse to an existing Cut Studio file to open. The save command allows you to save the design you're currently working on. The import command is used to import a JPEG and bitmap file. You can also import an AI or EPS file as long as it's saved in Adobe Illustrator version 7 or 8. The cutting command opens the cut window where you select which cut lines you want to send to the cutter. The print command opens the print window if you are connected to a printer. As you can see here, the command is grayed out because I am not connected to a printer. The undo command undoes your last action. You can also use the Windows shortcut Control plus Z. The redo command reinstates your last action. You can also use the Windows shortcut Control plus Y. The cut command cuts your selected object. You can also use the Windows shortcut Control plus X. The copy command copies your selected object. You can also use the Windows shortcut Control plus C. The paste command pastes your copied or cut object. You can also use the Windows shortcut Control plus V. This command is used to fit your design into the full screen. If an object is selected, it fits the selected object to the screen. If no object is selected, then it fits the entire design to the screen. To zoom in and out of the artboard, use the control plus the scroll button on your mouse. The move command moves the selected object closest to the origin point. If no object is selected, the entire design is moved. The symbol command opens your symbol window. When an object is selected, the property command opens the properties window for that object.